Hey guys, so uh, we had a question around pass by value and pass by reference for JavaScript and especially if JavaScript is a pass by value or a pass by reference language. Now to clear the clouds and let you know what JavaScript is in my terms, it is actually neither because it, uh, you know, showcases behaviors for both. So it gets confusing when people start to, you know, get into details. So let me just clarify it with a couple of examples so that after this point, if anyone asks you what is passed by value and what is passed by reference, you should be able to respond quickly. So the first thing is what is passed by value? Let me showcase that and especially JavaScript behaves with the pass by value for all its primitive types like string, uh, numbers and so on and so forth. So let's try to do this. So let's create a function. Let's remove the separator. We don't need it. And in the function, let's say we call it as change value. It takes something which is a variable. So let's say item. And now what it will do is uh, whatever is the item, it will try to update it to some value. Let's say item is equals to two. Now let's go outside. Let's create a variable X is equals to one. Now we can just do a console dot log of X and then call change value. So this means X is passed to it. And then we do a console log again to see what happens. And this will be passed by value. And when I say passed by value, it means that even if, uh, so what happens is you have the value of X as one. Now you pass the X as a value to the function. Now what happens is function internally updates that value to a two, but the actual object or actual value of X never changes, which means the X variable is only applicable outside the function and the value is still the one. So even though you pass this as one, so if you do a console log here of item and let me actually put it in a quotes item equals item. When you do this, and let's say you do an item after this, what will happen? So let's run again and see that. So you see item was one to two. So even though you pass the X as a value, the item got updated to two, but that item did not actually update X variable. So that's passed by value. You're just passing the value of X. And after that X is not, you know, available inside the function and X is only available outside the function. So even whatever operations you performed on this value of X that you pass in, it will not impact X that's pass by value. And uh, all the primitives that we have in JavaScript will work. Now let's see what's passed by reference. And in fact, that's kind of the confusing reason. So let's say instead of X being one, let me just comment this because just in case, if you want to access it further, let's just say this is commented. Okay. Now let's say variable X is an object. So is equals to, let's say number and one, or let's say value for instance, because that's what we are going to update. So X has a value of one. It's an object. Now let's do the same thing, which we call change value of X. And uh, let's also do a console dot log of X dot value. So this should give the X value outside. Let's run it clear run you see initially it was one item got one which is out here change value item got one and it's two now the reason is we haven't updated it to uh, the objects value so let's say item dot value because now we have an object and set it to two and now clear the console and run it now you will see that initially it was one but now it's two which means it's also impacting the uh, object that you have passed. So now when you pass X, which is an object to the function and try to update the property or, you know, parameter that you have passed. So if you have any property of, uh, of X, in that case, you're updating it. It is actually impacting the object. However, the re and let me show you another thing. So when you do instead of this dot value equal to something, let's say if I change it to item, is equals to a new item, which is value as two. Now, if I try to run this scenario, clear it, run it, it will still be one. So you see what's the difference. So let me explain. So the first time when I pass S X as an object to change value, what is happening is I'm passing the objects reference to that. So, uh, if I can say is this is X, I have two references now one outside the function and one inside the function. So when I pass the uh, reference to the function 
and I change the parameter or property which is the value inside the function the same object gets updated. Now when I pass the same object out here again I pass the reference however in this scenario what I did was I did value as the whole object itself I replaced it with a new object. So if you see the way we initialize the object which was x equals to 1 it's an object. Similarly we just initialize the reference to a new object completely. Now at this point JavaScript takes it as a different variable. So what will happen is it will update the object's reference which is this object's reference which was inside the function to the new object. So the old reference still holds the value of the initial object and that's where JavaScript differs and that's where it becomes pass by value versus pass by reference. So it behaves as pass by value by default. In case of objects, if you update any property, like in this in the previous scenario where we updated the property as item dot value as two, which means we updated the object's property to something, it became passed by reference. The actual object's reference was passed and its property got updated. But if you initialize it to something else, like a new object, in that case, it again behaves passed by value. So I hope this example clarifies a lot of pass by value and pass by reference dilemma that you have. But if you still have any questions, let me know in the Q&A section or in the comments and I'll be very happy to address that. I'll see you later.